Zantala Baboza. Ramaka Sopra the Avantis Kishan Lighter. Uh, welcome everyone from all over the world. May God bless you. Welcome to this uh, very powerful, wonderful, special moment and the special service for uh, tonight. I believe that God has kept you well and uh, you are still alive on this wonderland. And uh, I appreciate it that you are a part of this uh, uh, movement, prophetic movement, uh, whereby the grace of God is moving in a massive way. I don't take it for granted that you are in this service and I appreciate you so much uh, uh, for your support, prayers and uh, by sharing this broadcast. May God bless you and keep you safe. Before I go any further, allow me to welcome the presence of King Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come before you this wonderful evening. I glorify your name. You are the Alpha and Omega. Thank you, Jehovah Father, for uh, building and creating this uh, wonderful day for us, O oh Lord. Jehovah, there is none like you, King of Glory, and I praise you each and every day. You are the pillar that holds my life, and you are the source of our blessings, the source of our strength, and the source of our greatness. Lord Father, there is none like you. I stand against every plans of the enemy. I will come your presence in this service that everybody that shall join me Lord today let there be blessings upon their lives let there be victory upon their lives let there be transformation upon their lives in the name of Jesus Christ our father remove every struggle remove every pain remove every challenges that they are facing in their lives today Lord that master may you bring a new solution a new revelation a new grace that is new each morning father upon their lives in Jesus name them that are sick, let them receive their healing in Jesus' name. Them that are struggling financially, Father, I pray that you may open their doors financially. In Jesus' mighty name we do pray. Amen, 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 amen. Uh, wow, God bless you so much. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. May God keep you safe. May God continue to enlarge uh, your territory. I am so happy to be part of this service today. I uh, share that broadcast. Be an evangelist uh, by sharing that uh, broadcast uh, to several uh, friends and family. And remember, you are not in this broadcast by mistake. And today, God has led me uh, to break and destroy a generational curses. And today we are going to learn how generational curses can bring problems and struggles in our lives without us knowing. Without us knowing. So may God bless you so much. So continue to share the broadcast, continue to invite others, and continue to tell others and others to tell others about this mission. I know that today there is a word that God has set for you. There is a word that I'm going to declare over your life, and generational curses will be a history upon your life. And your children, children, they will never be part of any generational curses. Let these generational curses end with you. Distance is not a barrier. I want you to join in faith. Just connect with faith. The Bible says that where there is two or three people gathered in my name, I am in there with them. And the Bible continues to speak very clearly that my people perish because of lack of knowledge. And today God is releasing knowledge that you need to peruse in your life and see what kind of life that you are living as a Christian. Does it glorify by God or does it quench the thirst of generational curses and evil spirits that has been coming down from one generation to the other so I would like you to share that broadcast I would like you to invite others I would like you to tell others and others to tell others and others to tell others about this broadcast and I believe that God will continue to bless you I believe that you have seen in many scenarios that this child looks like a mother or a father they will say like this this son looks exactly like the father the character, the everything that happens to this person it is 
seems that the father was duplicated. And sometimes they say to that young girl, they say, this young lady uh, looks uh, specifically like uh, the mother. And look at me, child of God. This means that there is something that we attain in the spiritual realm or in the physical that resembles our parents. Zapole Vaganta. We have all seen how the physical characteristics of parents pass on their children. Some of you here today, you are behaving like your parents. You are behaving like your mother. You are behaving like your father. If your father was a talkative person, you too, you decided to be a talkative person. If you are a Laboga Sapraganda, if you are, you are, you are, your mother uh, was a silent woman, even you too, you decided to be a silent woman because uh, you are following the characteristic um, of uh, your mother. So, today I want us to learn uh, how these things can affect our lives um, and how these uh, um, uh, stuff that we connect ourselves uh, or uh, we were born in it um, without knowing um, that affects our life uh, and we are going to peruse deeper and we are going to understand uh, how to break them and how to be set free out of these generational uh, curses. Uh, may God bless you. Remember this is Prophet Mwema Olison in the eyes of God uh, with God's generational ministry uh, which is located in Kenya, Nairobi, along Thika Superhighway, a place known as uh, uh, Wetaithia. And in Nairobi town, we are having our every Monday a prophetic mo moments of solution services, um, the, the Monday of grace. Um, so make sure that you connect uh, if you are in Nairobi and its environs. Uh, you are welcome uh, from 8 a.m. Uh, to 8 p.m. Uh, and uh, every Friday like tomorrow, every Friday like tomorrow uh, and uh, maybe you, you, you visited me uh, in Nairobi town uh, city service uh, and uh, you, you, I did not get that much time uh, to talk with you or to peruse on these stuffs uh, that are very hidden and very spiritual uh, you can come tomorrow to church you can book an appointment uh, and then you come we sit down I pray I check stuffs from the beginning uh, on when it started uh, it might be thousands of years uh, it might uh, it might uh, have started uh, uh, to 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 5 years ago, even it might started yesterday and we shall be able to pray because there is a guidance of the Holy Spirit that will always give us the solution. When you know the problem, you will know how to solve it. But when you have the problem and you don't know what it is or you don't know its source, you cannot be able to, you cannot be able to do what? You cannot be able uh, to uh, to get the solution. So allow me to share the broadcast. Allow me to share the broadcast uh, before I go deeper, 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 deeper and further. So many Christians today, they are struggling because of this uh, demon called generational curses. And these demons, they are working tirelessly uh, to make sure that the life of many people, it is uh, full of struggle. Zapotele Kapo Bradi Avanta, I pray for you wherever you are, that no generational curses uh, shall locate you, nor your family member in the name of Jesus. Uh, not even your children uh, shall operate uh, on a generational curse. I uh, pray for you right now. Let the power of God has set you free from every generational uh, curses in Jesus' mighty name. Right now, I declare over your life that you are set free in the name of Jesus Christ, the name which is above every other name, the name which is powerful, the name which is great, the name which is uh, Lekusa. If it is your first time that you are joining us, um, make sure that you like this page uh, and make sure that you invite 10 of your friends uh, and 10 of your family members uh, because some of them are uh, they are victims. Sometimes you can call somebody or somebody, sometimes you can get a name and in this name there is a curse upon that name and everything that you do in the limitation that is in that name will kapose praganda, will block you from getting what is yours. Let us today break these generational curses and whenever you connect with it, let me tell you the word of God, it never comes late and it never comes early. I know there is a person here, you are watching me and you are suffering because of these generational 
all cases. I see Juliet Evayo from Ukunda, Mombasa. May God bless you so much uh, for joining this uh, broadcaster. May God bless you and every other person who is connecting me uh, with me here in Kenya and outside of Kenya. May God bless you. Just allow me to share. Allow me to share because I'm sharing to 2,000 800 people and I know that is only few who will be able uh, to avail themselves uh, on this broadcast. So may God bless you. My name is Arena. Evangelist Sarah Kemunto, may God bless you. Today I am going to go deeper. Uh, there is no stone that shall remain unturned. Uh, they shall, uh, there shall be no stone. If they, if they used a witchcraft to acquire wealth and that witchcraft turned against them and now it has become a curse. Today we are going to peruse on it and we are going to allow the Holy Spirit to go deeper in every corner. We are going to allow the Holy Spirit to take full charge and full control because when Jesus is in control there is nothing that is impossible. You are walking freely but you are under a cage, a cage that is spiritual. You are tied by a rope. You are living a separate Potele Kamasa Baganda, O Setili Kamaso Pradia. Today I can feel there is a newness of life. There is newness of life today. Somebody's story is changing. Somebody's life is changing. Somebody's situation is changing. Oh my God, my Father. Somebody's issues of marriage, it is changing in the name of Jesus. Oh my Father, my Father. I don't care what they said or what they did in secret. What I know and what I understand, that whatever that is done in secret shall be revealed in light. Today I pray for a divine revelation and the source of your problems. If it comes from generational curses, we break it and we destroy it right now. We stumble upon it and we break their heads in the name of Jesus. So you can see where you are connecting. You can comment there where you are getting this broadcast. Oh, I can feel the fire of the Holy Spirit. You can connect by saying where you are connecting with in this broadcast, where you are getting me, where you are watching me. I want us to have that uh, a, a smooth conversation. Uh, you might comment and uh, God will pick you. God might pick you. God might pick you and I speak a word. And this word will transform your life. Hey, but they will live by words that every word that comes uh, from the mouth of God. We always live by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And me here today, I'm just a mouthpiece. I am just a vessel. I am just a vessel. I see there is that person, my daughter from the United States, our United Kingdom. May God bless you. Let me check them. Let me check you. Zate la posa Zamaka Sapora Baga Seleva Riplatos Kalipra Maya Bivantos Kishan Lighter Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You are blessed no matter what, no matter what is going on. Sarah Kemunto, you are saying you are connecting from Egypt. Isabella Sinyene, you are watching me from Mauritius. God bless you. I see Annelin Jenza, you are connecting with me I'm from Namibia. Wow, very fantabulous. Fantastic, fabulous. May God bless you. Distance is not a barrier. This is an international service. And I appreciate it that God is expanding my territory. I am expanding in different parts of of the world and each and every part of the world they must know the truth even the, 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 the those people who are living in America Mary Waweru you are saying you are connecting with me from Qatar God bless you uh, Matt Msafi you are saying you are watching me from El Gayo Martha you are watching me from uh, El Gayo Maraqueta Josephine Benjamin from Namibia uh, BJP from Mauritius God bless you and may God keep you uh, safe in Jesus mighty name Lekusa Baragan Telemaya anything that doesn't want you to succeed it is generational we break it and I destroy it right now in the name of Jesus hallelujah glory to God thank you Jesus I thank Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just prepare your faith tonight and you will learn some things that you've never learned before. Some things that are very deeper. I see Katengela Perosavelia. You are watching me from Namibia. Wow. God bless you so much and may God bless those family of mine that they are watching me from Namibia. God has sent me to every nation in this world. God has sent me to every nation and is connecting me with two or three people in India. I see that 
there is that uh, uh, Anita Zouza he Castro, you are you are connecting with me from India. God is connecting with me with in different kind of uh, 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 in different parts of the world, so that uh, uh, we can be able to uh, to to spread uh, uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, and uh, I see there is that Eddie Domoka from Lebanon. Uh huh. Singer Binga, you are watching me from uh, Birmingham, uh, England. Wow, very fantabulous, uh, fantastic. You are not here by mistake. Uh, you are here because uh, God has anointed you uh, to be part and part of this uh, uh, mission in Jesus mighty name wow 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 Go, uh, continue to share continue to share aha uh -huh. Manes RN, you are connecting with me from coastal uh, regions. Uh, uh, wow, in Kenya. Wow, fantabulous. Uh, may God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. I'm about to start. Um, I see Leba Teuta uh, Kevikuta watching from Lithuania. This is my daughter that I told you. I never knew that there was a country known by, uh, by uh, Lithuania. Lithuania. I never knew that there was a country like that. Uh, but um, just because of the gospel, one of my daughter that is connecting with me from Lithuania is live here on this service and she is ready to receive healing and powerful restoration and being set free from generational curses. Ah, hallelujah. I'm just having only uh, two uh, two broadcasts that I want to share. I see Benjamin uh, Kariuki Wanyambura. God bless you. Uh -huh, you have said there, uh, yeah, uh, Mary Wanjiro, you are inviting uh, Mary Wanjiro. Wow, thank you so much uh, uh, by mentioning that name in this broadcast. Uh, uh, I know that even them, they shall be set free out of every generational curse. Uh, wow, 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 wow. God bless you. Wow, 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 wow. You know, some people will fight you. Some people will try to bring you down. But they will never know the kind of grace that you carry. Some people they have been fighting me and they are fighting me. They don't know why God chose me. They don't know. They are not in the mouth of God that said, my son, go and preach the gospel. You know, these things cannot be understood. It is only God who can understand these. And these are powerful. Now let us go deeper in the word. Let us now go deeper uh, in the word. Zapo Levantos Keshan. Wow, 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 wow. Very powerful. Uh, very, very powerful. Very powerful. Annelin Jens, God bless you so much. Uh, Margaret Kimani from uh, Nairobi, Kenya. God bless you. Elvis uh, Mukundi, you say you can't fight what God has protected. Uh, very fantabulous, fabulous, uh, blessed, anointed service. God bless you so much. Um, now, we have all seen how the physical characteristics uh, of parents pass on uh, to their children. Uh, you may have a big nose. You may have a big nose. You may have a very big nose like mine. Uh, uh, from your dad or your mother's uh, smile. You might uh, be short or tall, light-skinned or dark based on the physical traits uh, of uh, your ancestors. But uh, one thing uh, is uh, sure, much of who you are are physically uh, or are physically is influenced uh, by heredity. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Mm-hmm. Uh, heredity uh, also has an influence on your talents, uh, abilities, uh, traits, uh, and even how you think and believe. We have all heard the phrase, uh, like father, like son. Have you heard a phrase like that one? Like father, like son. Now I want you to pay attention. Now I'm going deeper on the teaching about uh, uh, breaking and destroying the generational curses and altars. Yes, yes, yes. We need to embark on this kind of prayer so that we can focus on Jesus Christ who died on the cross and the altar that he raised there on Calvary and the blood that he shed there on Calvary to save us and to set us free from every kind of calamities and struggles in the name of Jesus. I believe that you are there. Where are you watching me? Where are you watching me? Where are you getting this? Now, you have, you have heard about this uh, a point like father, like uh, of son. But did you know that it is just as true in the spiritual realm 
as it is in the natural. Generational influence have the ability to bring blessings. Generational influence, it has ability to bring to bring uh, blessings. I see Carol Muna. You are watching me from Bahrain. God bless you. God bless you so much. Thank you for joining uh, from that area where the Arabs are using a genie. Genie. I know you are protected against a genie or the marine spirits. Wow, marine spirit, that is one day I will teach you about it and how and where it started. That is about uh, the story of Solomon. Solomon was the first person to operate with genie. And Solomon used the genie in a good way. But today, witches and wizards, they are using uh, genies or marine spirits in a bad way. Okay, I'll teach you that. That is a topic for another day. Wow, wow, wow. So, uh, it has ability to bring blessings or curses to your life. Not to somebody else's life. To your life. An understanding of this reality brings the power to change not only your life, but the lives of your family members as well. Mm -hmm. Generational blessings. Families or family is important to God. The way family is important to you, that is how family it is very important to God. That's why Satan is not happy that marriages are working nowadays. Nowadays, marriages, it has become like business. It is a contract in some part of the world. And some people that are just engaging in families, getting married two to three years, they get children and then they separate them. Now, that is the way Satan is happy. That is destroying your family slowly by slowly. Now, your parents, they separated. You too, you separated. Your children, they've separated. That means there is a generational influence or an alt that it is operating in your life and you need to break it as long as you are still alive. If you don't break it, your children, children will still suffer from that kind of a generational altar. Mm -hmm. Family is important to God. And it is clear that it does not think merely in terms of individuals, but also in terms of generation. You yourself, you carry generation. You, I'm talking to you. The one that is watching me right now. That one who is watching me in that phone. Yes, that phone, that phone, that computer, that laptop. Some of you have kept your earphone and you have set your phone aside. Eh? And you are doing busy, you are doing your job. Yes, you are doing job, you are busy at your work, but you are listening to this word. Maybe your boss will not allow you to be with your phone. La Copa Sadabaganda. Mlino Sunlonlo, you are saying uh, your network is very bad. Today I pray for that network in Jesus' name. Let that network be. Uh, 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 Comply. Let that network comply and respect this word today. I see Elizabeth Candonsvo. God bless you. And may God keep you safe in the name of Jesus. So you yourself you carry generations. Because in you you'll, you'll give birth to four children. Those four children they'll, they'll give birth uh, four, 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 sixteen children. Those sixteen children they'll, they'll, they'll give birth to four, 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 sixteen times um, sixteen times four. That is a very huge number of ma uh, 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 of people. Setalo Salema si pradi yabanto. Ntesha maso kale pradi yabanto. So you yourself, you carry generation. That is in the book of Matthew, chapter number one, verse number seven. It tells us, so all the generation from Abraham to David are 14 generation. From David until the captivity in Babylon are 14 generation. And from the captivity in Babylon until the Christ are 14 a generation. Mm -hmm. Very deep. When God looks at you, he also sees your family. He sees where you came from. He looks at your ancestors. He looks at your children and grandchildren. When, when making a covenant with Abraham, God never once said, I'm going to bless you. He always said, I'm going to bless you and your descendants. Ah, very fantabulous. Today I see God blessing you and your children, children. God is blessing you with your descendant. You see here, uh, if you can read your Bible very well, you will find this phrase. God did not say that he will bless Abraham alone. 
He said that he will bless Abraham and his uh, descendants. So that means uh, there was another generation to come. An example of this is in the book of Genesis chapter number 22, verse number 17 to 18, the Bible says, uh, where God said, I am blessed, um, I, in blessing I will bless you, and multiply, I will multiply your, your descendant, as the stars of the heavens, and as the sun which is on the seashore, and your descendant shall possess the gates of their enemies. In your seed, all the nation of the earth shall be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. And that is where we as Christians, we come in. We come in. Yes, we connect through Jesus Christ. We come in to connect to Abrahamic blessings. Now, this is so powerful. I would like you to just join. Uh, if you can be able to comment, comment. If you are in a place where you can comment. If you are in a place where you can be able to share, 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 share. Share the broadcast, share the broadcaster. Abraham obeyed God and was blessed. And his descendant were blessed too. Because blessings tends to run along bloodlines. Generational iniquities, curses also run along bloodline. That is in the book of Exodus, chapter number 20, verse number 5 to 6. God wants the children of Israel not to follow false God. And today God is um, warning you not to follow false God or idols. Some of you have gone to Sangomas. You have gone to witch doctors in order for you to attain some kind of blessings. But today God has sent me to speak to you. God is warning you against worshipping idols, worshipping witchcraft or connecting yourself with things that will harm you, not only you, it will harm too your generations. And God said, you shall not bow down to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, I am a jealous God, uh, visiting the iniquities of fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generation. And of those who hate me, but show, showing mercy to thousand, to those who love me and keep my commands. So listen to me. One generation, if I may ask, if you have the knowledge, how long that does uh, does uh, one generation ends? One generation ends in a hundred years. So if God will follow the iniquities of your fathers from uh, third uh, to third and fourth generation, that means it is four hundred years from today. If you do sin or you have something, uh, you bow down and worship ev uh, evil forces, uh, and you don't repent. You see now there is an option here. You have to repent. So if you don't repent, God will follow that curse up to 20 or 2,300 or 2,400. You will long be dead. You will long be dead. And you might not be able to be alive. Huh? You, uh, not, uh, we are not going to reach 300 years, uh, 2300, uh, 2300. But our grandchildren, the seed that we shall release or we shall produce, uh, the children of our children's children, they are the ones who will be there in the year 2300. Where the, gene uh, where the, uh, the technology could have killed everyone, but it is well. Mm -hmm. I thank God because of that. But for those who listen and pay attention to the voice of God, God will bless them. God shall bless them. And He will show mercy to them. That is in the book of Exodus chapter number 20, verse number 5 to 6. You go and read it. Write it down and go and underline it. God bless you. The word iniquity means uh, to be bent toward a certain sin. Iniquity is that you are channeled or you are connected, you are bent to a certain uh, 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 a sin. 
and we see that the iniquities of the parents is carried on to the children to the third and fourth generation so a child will bend like his or her parents grandparents and great grandparents they will all have an inner inclination towards the same certain sinful habit Lamentation 5 7 says, Our fathers sinned and they are no more, but we bear their iniquities. In other words, even though they may be dead in the graves, their iniquities is sticking with you, is sticking with us. That's why today God has led me to pray about this. Uh, God has allowed us to pray about this, uh, uh, to connect, to connect, to connect, to connect. Ah, hallelujah. If you are getting somebody, uh, if you are getting something, somebody just comment there on the comment section below and say, my case is settled. Uh, generational curses, they have no power. They have no authority. They have no space. They have no chances over my life. They have no chances uh, over my life, over my family, over my life, over my family. And I believe that you are getting this, uh, the blessings of the season in the name of Jesus. And you will not struggle anymore. You will not face the challenges anymore. Why? Because God is with you. Evidence of curses. If you want to know that there is curses around you, there are evidence. And I want you to pay attention. Just open your ears. If you have a pen and paper, just write it down. If you cannot be able to write it down, uh, when I finish this broadcast, make sure that you come here and watch this broadcast again. Listen to me, child of God. Huh? This video will be here up to 100 years, 20 uh, to 2,000 years to come. But if people are not ready to pray and break this kind of altars, I'm telling you, people will struggle so much. Uh -huh, there are evidence uh, of curses. Deuteronomy chapter number 28 verse 15 to 68 contains 53 verses listing generational curses. Here are just a few of symptoms of curses, curses listed there. Number one, poverty. Poverty is one of the signs of curses. I will be able to explain it later. God bless you. Number two is a diseases some certain kind of diseases your grandmother had a breast cancer you too you have uh, your mother did had uh, uh, is it uh, uh, is it stomach cancer you too now today you have uh, either colon or cervical cancer that is a start today we are breaking them in the name of jesus number three is divorces Divorces is as a result of curses and generational curses. The spirit will not allow you to stay in that relationship. The demons, the evil forces will not allow you uh, from will not allow you to maintain that marriage. The devil will not be happy that you give birth. The devil will not be happy that you are going to the altar to make a vow with a man. Why? Because it is a curse. Oh, if you are here and you are operating on such kind of a curse, today I set you free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I see Birech Eda see God bless you. Birech Eda see may God keep you safe. May God keep you safe. May God keep you safe. Today I told you, I'm going to have much, much teaching. I'm going to have much teaching. I'm going to have much teaching concerning, concerning this, concerning this kind of topic. Number four is child abuse. Child abuse. Child abuse. You might, you might find it awkward to see an uncle sleeping with a niece or a father sleeping with a daughter or a mother sleeping with a son. 
that is called child abuse and point number six that is sexual abuse these are part of generational curses you find uh, young boys being molested by their uncles or being molested by their fathers these are demons that is controlling these people that are doing this we don't have to blame them it is a force a force that they cannot be able to control it is a force i want you to come in there and say jesus set me free and the name of jesus only the name of jesus can be able to set you free i'm talking to you child of god the name of jesus christ son of david oh the nazarene is able to deliver you and set you free so today if you are if you have experienced this kind of stuff some of you you are here you are silent and there is somebody who took advantage of you 30 years ago and it is still burning inside you and you've never confessed it to anyone oh you've never confessed it yes i am talking to you hallelujah you've never confessed it to everyone or to anyone now you got married you gave birth to a son or to a daughter who becomes a victim or becomes who, who carries who become a carrier of that curse you even you you might die without telling anybody and these things are, are going on in secret places in secret families yes these are very big secrets you find out that ango uh, or, or fathers uh, give uh, a daughter a pregnancy hey, that is very confusing how could that um, how will that child call the father their mother is calling oh or can i explain it a father giving uh, 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 giving uh, one of um, uh, his daughter pregnancy and that pregnancy matures and that child is born between the mother and the uh, the, the child who is supposed to call the father father that is a confused family and that is what bring curses and so many family they have put this kind of things in secret places but today this is the day that the lord has made and uh, we will rejoice and be glad in it i believe that you are getting something can i go deeper can i go more deeper and further Number seven is domestic domestic violence. Domestic violence, they are as a result of generational stuffs. Alcoholism, alcoholism. These two, they are generational curses. Alcoholism. You find out that you cannot be able to control yourself to drink alcohol. Women, men. in your family they are all drunk drug addiction they are addicted to drugs especially at those western world immorality immorality is part of the family today i want you to shout jesus set me free adultery adultery yes adultery perversion perversion too is a very serious generational spirit depression depression now that is too part of generational curses confusion today we are breaking depression and confusion that is part of generational curses fear fear too it is a spirit in this uh, uh, indecision those are part of generational curses fear mm, panic attacks mental illness suicide suicide minds david davo davo god bless you destructive attitudes 
and behavior, destructive attitudes and behavior, they are generational. Each of these can be, but are not only uh, are not always the results of some generational causes, and most have their roots in idolatry and iniquity. Idolatry and iniquity. The source of this kind of words that I've given you up there, they are as a result of idolatry and iniquity. Uh, many people, if not most, can identify some of these symptoms that have passed on from generation to generation. How about you? How about you that is watching me? Have you sensed some of these kind of things that are happening in your life? Addiction, poverty, depression, adultery, perversion, suicidal immorality, sexual abuse, child abuse. When you look up to your family tree, do you see a pattern of these things? Do you struggle with a particular sin and see a history of that sin in a past generation? Okay, Jilim, Jilim. Don't worry, the Facebook, it seems that um, they are trying to to stop us from sharing. Just uh, continue to watch and God will bless you. You can copy the link and share to the groups that you want to share. But sharing, it seems that uh, Facebook is limiting us. But it has no power. Mm -hmm. Go, glory to God. Okay, do you struggle with a particular sin and see history of that sin in the past? generations maybe you have been told that depression or fear you deal with runs in the family or perhaps you struggle with a marital infidelity and can identify a pattern of affairs and divorces going back to a parents and grandparents this could be a symptoms of generational curses and altars that are raised up to block you the good news is that generational curses can be stopped today that is the good news. In fact, that is the point of this service. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I'm so excited uh, that uh, these generational curses, they are going to be put to stop today. So if you are struggling with these kind of issues, uh, it might, uh, it might uh, be a, a, a part of your family. I would like you to just continue to share. Continue to share. Continue to say Tarabaganda. Ah, the good news is that generational curses can be stopped today. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. I am repeating again, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus Christ. Hebrews 9, verse number 22 tell us, According to the law, almost things are purified with blood. And without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. Here are two basic principles you need to know. Number one, a generational curse has come through the bloodline. A generational curse comes through a bloodline. It is in a DNA. Number two, a generational curse can only be cancelled by blood. Generational curses can only be cancelled by blood. I now, and now I believe that we are in one boat. We are moving forward to heaven. Yes, we are moving together to our destiny, where there shall be no sorrow, where there shall be no pain, where there shall be no sin and iniquities that will be blocking us from this kind of stuff. So, number one, generational curses comes through blood. And this same, same, Kalepo Satala Baganda, and this same spiritual uh, uh, curses or altars can be broken and only cancelled by the blood. It is about the blood of Jesus Christ in Romans 3, 23 to 25 in uh, uh, NIV version. 
We read, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. He did this to demonstrate His justice because in His forbearance He had left the sin committed beforehand and punished Binti Sami, God bless you. Lim Jili, God bless you. Uh, Ruth Fever, God bless you. To define justified in simple terms, you could say I've been made just as if I've never done it. Romans 3, 23 to 25, God bless you. This is possible only because God presented Jesus as a sacrifice of atonement or as a young uh, literal translation puts it, God set him forth as a mercy seat. If you remember the mercy seat on the, uh, on the Ark of the Covenant was there once a year on the day of atonement. The priest would sprinkle the blood of animals the blood was a barrier between the curse of the law and the people of the covenant. The ninth chapter of Hebrews tells us that Jesus placed his blood on the mercy seat in heaven. Not once a year, but one time for all of eternity to obtain eternal salvation for all who put their faith and trust in him today Jesus is to us as a mercy seat where are people going where are people going where are people going my time is almost up my time is almost up my time is almost up If you want to connect with your seed on this altar, you can be able to send your offering. The number is there. You can be able to use M-Pesa while remit. You can be able to use a send wolf if you want to support the ministry. Or if you have your tithe, this is for my daughters and my sons. Them that they are across the world. You can be able to send it. My daughter in Lithuania, God bless you. I saw your offering through Western Union. May God bless you. May God bless you so much. I appreciate it. May God keep you safe and enlarge your territory. Oljira, may God bless you. So it is extremely important to know that we must appropriate, appropriate Jesus. His uh, sacrifice through faith. Yes, his death on the cross paid the penalty and broke the power of sin for everyone from Adam to the last person standing on the end of the age. Salvation is not effective in our lives until we personally accept Jesus Christ, sacrificed by faith, and appropriate it for ourselves. The same is true of deliverance from generational iniquities and curses. These are the sins committed beforehand mentioned in Romans 3.25 and just as salvation must be appropriated through faith so must deliverance from generational iniquities and curses until you personally appropriate Jesus sacrifice through faith it is not effective in your life and the curse can remain breaking the curses if you are living under a generational altar of curses it will be cancelled when you, through faith, appropriate the blood of Jesus for your deliverance. You can pray and make confessions and declare and decree and God will always set you free. So last but not least, I am ready. Thank you Jesus God that generational curses are broken through faith 
in the blood of Jesus. I put my faith in the blood. I believe Jesus is my mercy seat. And that his blood cancels and they curse and break generational iniquities. I believe by the blood of Jesus that the generational curses from the law is cancelled and broken of my family now in Jesus' name. Thank you that sin, bondages and iniquities are cancelled and the curse is stopped by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, God, that the blood of Jesus on the mercy seat is a barrier that curse cannot pass the blood. Amen. So as from today, I would like you to choose life and blessings. Choose life and blessings. We look before uh, pre- uh, or we look previously in Exodus 20 verse 5 to 6 how God visited the iniquities of the fathers upon children to the third and fourth generation. But did you notice that the rest of the verse it says that the blessing goes not only three or four generations but up to thousands of generations. And the blessing is much stronger than curse. All blessings are much stronger than curses. How do you pass these blessings on future generations? By loving God and keeping His commands. And it starts by choosing life and blessings. God in Deuteronomy 30 verse number 15 uh, and 19 says, See, I have said before you today, life and good, death and evil. I call heaven and earth as witness today against you, that I have said before you life and death, blessings and curse. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendant may live. Are you getting something, child of God? All Christians pray. Not many fast. Fasting is probably one of them. The least popular topic in the Bible. But that one will allow you to win this kind of battles that are trying to attack you nor trying to bring shame and struggle out of your life. So may God bless you and keep you safe in the name of Jesus. Now, that marks the end of our service. And I believe that now we have understood how generational curses they operate. Make sure that you live a righteous life, life full of God's love, life full of grace of God. And uh, surely I tell you, you will enjoy the life that is coming ahead of you. Your children will be free. Your descendant will be blessed. And everyone around you shall operate under a divine prophetic grace in Jesus' mighty name. So tomorrow, we shall be having a service of dedication. We shall be dedicating our young ones. We shall be dedicating uh, our, our animals. We shall be dedicating our fields. We shall be dedicating our jobs. We shall be dedicating our finances. We shall be dedicating. God is leading me right now to just announce this before I end this broadcast. Because already the message that God wanted it to pass through, it is already there and is already in your heart. Let it sink deeper and allow God to continue to sustain you. The Bible says that where there is two or three people gathered in my name, I'm in there with them. So tomorrow we are having dedication. So prepare yourself. Prepare an offering. Prepare an offering for the dedication. Dedication of your animals. Dedication of your uh, 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 your young ones. Dedication of your
family members, your brothers and sisters, your uncles and your aunts. If you have a business that is not making sense, you can rededicate it. Maybe you dedicated it before and something happened to it. You can rededicate it. Maybe your children, they are not getting anything in school. They are thick-headed. You can rededicate them. Maybe somewhere down the line, they did a mess. We can be able to rededicate them. That is as per the Spirit of God. We are going to dedicate our ministries. And me too, I'm going to dedicate the land that God is going to give me. I don't have it yet, but I'm going to dedicate it. I'm going to dedicate the car that God is going to bless me with. Yet, I've not yet accessed it. So, tomorrow, it is a dedication of Friday service. And I believe that God will bless us. God will transform us. God will keep us safer in the name of Jesus. You can dedicate your phone. You can dedicate that house. The things that are in that house. You can dedicate your television. You can dedicate your sofa set, your bed, your things of the kitchen. You can dedicate anything and everything that is connected to you. And um, you can give 100 shillings or 100 dollars as per your level. That is one fold. Two fold you can give 200 thousand dollars 200 dollars uh three-fourth you can get uh, three-fold you can be able to give three hundred uh uh dollar or uh or three hundred dollars or three hundred shillings uh, uh four-fold you can give four hundred dollars five-fold that is same case uh ten-fold that is one thousand fifteen uh, fifteen folds that is according to your level if you feel like you want to dedicate everything you can give 20 folds of seed twenty dollars two hundred dollars two thousand dollars yes one hundred dollar according to the level of your faith and before you give or before you send that offering make sure that you pray for it until you find the inner peace when you find that inner peace, when you find that inner peace, then know that God has accepted your offering. But when you quarrel with your offering, should I give or should I not give? It's like me right now. I'm, I'm, I'm quarreling with this order. If I, 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 Can I drink or can I not drink? Can I take it or can I not take it? And for those that God has blessed you and you have so many cars, if God speaks to you that you need to give that car, give it. If God has blessed you with the land and you feel it in your heart that uh, you want to bless, you want to bless Gamasha, you want to bless the church with that land and you've prayed and you've had a peace inside of you. I don't want you to force, I, want, I don't want to force you to do anything. Because if I force you, you cannot get blessings. Hallelujah. Or if you have a camera that is just sitting there and you want to send it to me, pray about it first. If you have television, you have television or you have, yes, you have so many much money in your account, you cannot be able to use all of it and you want to support this ministry with make sure that it comes from your heart we shall be doing that as dedication uh, tomorrow and god will bless you i've seen somebody somebody has sent me an offering right now as i am on this broadcast wow god bless you god uh, bless you thank you for connecting with this service that is now a child of God who always understand the kind of a job that a prophet does. So may God bless you. That person has connected with a seed. I pray that may God bless you. If you are watching me, may God bless you. And even if you, have, you are not watching me and you have you are already gone to sleep, I bless you in the name of Jesus. Now allow me to finish the, the broadcast. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for this beautiful, powerful service that we have had today. 
Thank you because you always listen to our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Shalom, shalom. To those places that it is daytime, have a blessed day. To those places that it is night time, have a blessed, wonderful night. Let us meet tomorrow, same time, same place. Remember, this is Prophet Member Holy Son, and I serve God with God's generational ministry. From my side, God bless you. I love you, and God loves you more. Amen. <laughs>